DJ Betts featuring Jordan Allen and Dagan Parker. DJ Betts. Hi, I'm Jordan Allen here at Dagan Parker. We got a special guest with us, a guy that's been in the Northwest Territories doing his thing in the media. Over to the score, and now current host of Sports Grid Radio. You can find him on channel 159 on Sirius XM. Cam Stewart, really appreciate you coming on the show, man. Yeah, we've we've come a long way from me writing uh, about myself. Cam Stewart scored a goal in a rec league game up in Yellowknife. Wow, those dogs are really fast in the Iditarod. No, honestly, like, uh, no, my time up there was awesome. Like, nobody parties harder than curlers. Like, I used to cover curling. Next thing you know, like, I'm in a snowbank going, wow, that got pretty crazy. Didn't expect that to happen. But, no, it's been fun. Then I came back to Toronto. Now, hey, we get to bet on everything, guys. And it's a pleasure. Like, I worked with Gabe for a long time at the score and other wicked people there. And I was just telling Dagan, too, you know, it's crazy. Like, I've had the same people that used to, like, hate gambling or coming up to me and say, hey, man, you want to do, like, a horse racing spot or, like, so got some golf picks, football picks. It's like, it's yeah. nice that people are finally embracing this stuff and be, instead of being hypocritical about it. It's like, come on, man. Like, that's what we do. You, you, you bet on the game with your buddies. You watch. You try to make a little bit of money on the side. It's supposed to be fun, right? Uh, exactly. And that's, that's the whole thing. I just don't understand why it was such a taboo thing. Now everybody and their mother's uh, getting in on it. But you can say me and Gabe have been doing it for decades, so we're not new <laughs> yeah. to the party. No, I completely agree. But you know what? We're going to have some fun now. It's March Madness time. Let's go. Picks, upsets, Final Four predictions. Cam, I want to let you pick the board. What's your favorite game right now to, to bet on looking at the Lions? Wow, that's that's tough. I, I've got a few games circled right now. Um, I know the Mountain West in Wyoming, they lost in the playoff game to Indiana. We were on Indiana. There's one yeah. team in the Mountain West that I like. Uh, Boise State Broncos, mostly, mostly known for their football program, but they got guys who can pound it inside, they can shoot, and know what they are? They play wicked, suffocating defense. A lot of their games, they can win, you know, a 66 to 60 type of game. They can beat you 48 to 42. Like some of the games, like that's Mountain West basketball. It can get ugly. And I'm telling you, if these guys didn't have a path where they played Duke, I think they could go on. That would have been my team to go on a little bit of a deep run, maybe winning two or three games. We'll see what happens. They're playing a, a team with pedigree. Hardaway and the Memphis Tigers, a team that got totally hyped at the start of the year. Boise State's getting three in that game. I might be in the minority, but I'm going to take the Broncos uh, in that spot. Also, you guys know this. This is the this is the thing about the media. Every time they say a team blows or shouldn't be in the tournament, or all oh, these guys are absolutely horrible, it's a disgrace that they got in. Bet them. The Oregon State Beavers yeah. were probably the worst ranked team in the tournament the other year, and they went on a deep run. I remember the the commentators. The Pac-12 sucks. UCLA almost won the whole damn tournament. So when people are ripping conferences and all that stuff, you know, take it with a grain of salt. There's going to be somebody, a couple teams in the conference that are going to surprise people and go on. And you guys know this tournament's just full of upsets. So, so wide open. That's just yeah, it is. It it, it, it really yeah. is, Dag. And like the thing about it is like nobody's an expert here. We can have picks, but whatever. Like nobody wins that bracket for a million bucks. It's almost impossible to pick winners. So this that's is a why good the time. Prize is so large. Exactly. That's why you take a couple flyers too. Like for me, I'm not taking like the blue bloods to win the tournament. I, me and Gabe both liked Iowa, you know, coming Ooh. out of their region. I think the Iowa Hawkeyes, uh, McCaffrey's a great coach. They have one of the best player players in the league. They got uh, Bohannon. They got everybody. Like, have you seen this uh, guy play for uh, Iowa Keegan Murray? He's averaging almost 24 a game. Like the Iowa Hawkeyes, in my opinion, are a dangerous team. And if you look at their price going through the numbers right now, guys, these guys, like, what are they plus? 420 to win the Midwest. It's something, those are kind of the numbers that I'm looking at right now. I know Duke, Duke is good. Here's the one thing about Duke too. Losing to Virginia Tech was probably the best thing that happened to this program. Coach K, yeah. he loses to North Carolina in his last home game. Then they lose to, uh, they lose to Virginia Tech who never wins the ACC tournament. Now everyone's down on them. That's when you get on a team again. And sometimes getting slapped around and beat up is the best thing for a team. They have to wake up and play better basketball. I wouldn't be surprised if they went deep. Kansas looks good. Those are the blue blood teams, but there's a few others that I'm looking at, guys. I like Iowa. I think Tennessee's being disrespected. I think I they can go on a very deep run. I think Tennessee, in one of my brackets, I did too. I have them winning the whole thing. I must be insane. They're 25 Ooh. to 1, but I like Tennessee. They're, they're a team that I'm looking at. Texas Tech, I think, could knock out Gonzaga. 
if they get there. Gonzaga's going to win a few games, but when they play a real team, it's going to be tough. Let, you let guys me ask know. you this then. I have yep. Arizona over Texas Tech in the final. Wow. What do you think of that? I love it because I, I was looking. I couldn't decide between Arizona and Texas Tech, and I went with Texas Tech because the odds were, were better. <laughs> I've got money on well. both to win it all on Bet365, but but yeah, I, I, I that's my finals. That's my finals matchup in my bracket. A wicked it's a wicked one yeah no i got tennessee and one i got texas tech in the other and you know iowa i have going to the final four and the good news is when you're taking teams dag and you know like look at look at the odds of these teams texas tech's 25 to 1 tennessee's uh 25 to 1 and iowa's 25 to 1 on FanDuel. i found some really good odds for futures on that site uh one of the sponsors of our show yeah and i'm thinking you know what you could be in a great hedge situation with those numbers too it's not like they're eight to one seven to one hell like Gonzaga can win the tournament. You think I'm betting these guys yeah. at under four to one? Like, are you kidding no. me playing in the West Coast Conference? Sure, they can win. And people can say, Cameron, you're an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> but you beat up Loyola Marymount, San Francisco, the San Diego Toreros, and teams like that all year. When you play a real team, things get real. You saw what Baylor did to them. Slap, slap, slap. Yeah. They, they embarrassed yeah. them. So Gonzaga might have Timmy and Holmgren and, you know, Mark Few. He's coaching after a few drinks. I couldn't believe I got a DUI. I thought it was like a Christian, like a Christian school. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. I, I like to drink. Um, oh, what I are you like my do Appletons. About- yeah, I, I yeah. like a lot of things. Yeah. And that's my problem. Like a parlay of beverages. But you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, though, buddy. Like you can't, yeah, bet, for you sure. can't bet these guys at that price. And if they win, so be it. So I have them going out to Texas Tech. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to take the chalk in this tournament. But it's March Madness. Weird things happen. Yeah, I got Villanova at 29 to 1. They're dangerous too. Jay yeah. Wright's a great coach, really good team. The thing about those big East teams is they beat up each other and they're really battle yes. tested. They're tough kids from the street, right? Like Providence, yeah. they're, they, they had a really good run. Uh, and you know, you know me, I'm an old big East guy. Like Syracuse uh, is my team. I got the Georgetown in the background there. Like, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. I'm, I got a soft spot for Nova. Like, yeah. No, I like, I, I love that yeah. conference too. I tell you, Dagan, we went to, me and my buddies went to a Syracuse Georgetown game. We met Derek Coleman in the bar. He was like amazing. He was like an actually really nice guy too. It was like, usually when you meet people like stars and idols that you like, yes. they really disappoint you. It he was the total way. opposite. Yeah, yeah, no, he went, he went in the good way. He was a very That's nice amazing. man. Good to we hear. had a great conversation with him, had, had, had a drink in the halftime bar at the Syracuse Georgetown game. But I think Villanova with Jay Wright, I, I agree with you, Dagan. Like, we can't bet everybody, but they're a dangerous team. I actually do. I'm in a pool with my buddy Visine Vince, the mailman. Mm. Great guy. You, you, you've met him, I think, Dagan, mm-hmm. before when I brought him out to the bar. Hardcore yep. Leaf fan. Like, yep. very loyal supporter of all Toronto teams. Like, he's a real fan. He's a good so, guy, too. Oh, he's a very good guy. Uh, I so remember me, him. We're, we're in a pool where you do spread picks. You have to do teams. It's a spread survivor and a survivor. So we took – that was like we, we already took Villanova as uh, one of our survivor picks to, to move on. Like you take a team on Thursday, Friday, like every, every time there's a separate day, you do like a survivor pool. That wow. That's crazy. I've never been in one of them once. No, no. A lot, a lot of people are like, what the, they've been asking me. I was just on another radio show. They go, what the hell is that? I go, no, it's different. And you do <laughs> a pool where if you pick the spread, you move on. If you get the spread wrong, you're done. It's a spread survivor pool. We do a regular survivor and a spread survivor. So that's crazy. We're, I like we're, that. Uh, we're bad. No, trust me. We, we got to get all this stuff together and like come up with these concepts, but it was all, no, Vince. Yeah. Vince found some guy. He's like, does all these pools. I'm like, whatever it is, I'll send you the money. Let's go in all of them. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Cam, you got to invite us. You got to scare money. Don't to. make money. Scare money. Never wins. Scare money. Don't make money. No, no. You guys say hey, next year, once I get the, the flow, like yeah. it kind of, he kind of hit me on it quick. Like he was doing his mail today. He's like, Hey man, you want to get in? I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Like the, that's the thing I've been texting him my picks and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I don't know. Like how do like, it's really hard to attack this tournament. You go game by game, yeah. but I like the futures kind of in the mid 20 range with good teams. And I think once you get to the final four, you know, we all like to make money. I know Marenzi's right. favorite line. I'm not a gardener. I didn't come here to hedge. And I know what I say. I tell him, I go, but sometimes the hedges need trimming. Like that sometimes yes, exactly. when you have a mortgage to pay or, you know, you need a, like a thousand bucks quick or so. Like I, I don't have a car. My car broke down the other day. I almost drove it through a brick wall. Like oh, I wouldn't shitty. mind having like five grand so I can go like, you know, yeah. put it towards a new automobile. Sometimes you got to hedge. And with those numbers, they're good numbers to me. So like teams like yeah. Tennessee, Iowa, Good call to Dag and Villanova is a dangerous team. Like those are, that's where I'm looking. I'm trying to yeah, avoid look for the value right? of the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
I was going to ask you, Cam, what's your opinion on Illinois? Because I, I think they're a dangerous team. Illinois is a good team. The problem with Illinois is, though, they're a hard team to back because they could win the national championship when you watch them one night, and then they also crap the bed. I guess a lot of teams in the Big Ten kind of play that way, right? But uh, Illinois has a big – they have big men. They, they're very well coached. They're good. They, I just have a problem with their consistency. Like, they'll be in a game, and it's just like they go cold, like real cold. You almost want to take a team. The thing I like about Tennessee is they can get that way, but they're very athletic. And I also think they're being disrespected by the seeding of, of their tournament. Yeah. I like Iowa because when I look at their path, I think they have a very good path like to get deep into the tournament. The teams that they can play, I think they can beat. That's part of it too, right? Like, eh, hey, man, I got to tell you guys, you, you guys know as well as me, you can flip a coin on some of this stuff. It's just yeah. a lot of fun. And, and if anybody tells you, oh, I know this and I know that, and this is a guarantee they're Oh, fish. it's it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I love the 8-9 matchups, 7-10 matchups are, are the closest games you, you can find this year. It's crazy how many teams have a possibility. Am I outlandish thinking that, like, eight teams could legit win this championship this year? Yes. I know you're not. It's not outlandish. I think yeah. there is no top team. People think it's Gonzaga. They're beatable. Yeah, Kansas is good. Kansas is good. They're still beatable. The reason I took Texas Tech was they were hanging with Kansas to like three minutes left yeah. in that championship game. And look at the odds in comparison to the two teams. Texas Tech could beat them. They just didn't play very well down down the stretch. Things can change, right? So yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Another team that I was looking at from a uh, just a betting perspective in game one that I think is being disrespected. Akron. I watched those guys play a few times. Those Mac teams are usually pretty good for like covering spreads. I remember the university of Buffalo used to go in there and get things done. Uh, even back in the day, other teams like those small schools, you know, like Siena used to do it from their conference. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. yeah. That, I just look at that team and I'm like, Akron was the one, I think they're getting 13 and a half or 14 in, in their first game. That's a, that's a team that I'm looking at the bet. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Even honestly, what, what's your take on the Duke CSU Fullerton? I think the spread is crazy at minus 19. Thing about Duke is I'm probably not going to touch that game or bet it in game. I would love Fullerton to go up in the game. Yeah. And then I can get a live line on Duke. Yes. And this yeah. is the thing, guys. I I know you watch me and Gabe on, on sports grid in the shows. That's the, the since live betting has become popular, it's the best tool out there. Yep. You just you just wait you just wait for a favorite sometimes when you like them originally to get smoked early you're down 14 to 3 or something doesn't even matter the game just started and yep. they're college kids they get on runs they get emotional things happen so that's the Take way to advantage do advantage of those numbers when they yeah, flex, flex you can like lay that, 7 exactly. and a half instead of laying 21 yeah. and a half I'm like okay in final score maybe they win by 16 you could do a middle job you could take the dog early take the favorite a lot of middling with this stuff too. So yeah, for I sure. would suggest to people getting involved in betting, like try to find the math, get both teams as a dog. If you can, in certain situations, sit, sit back like uh, Dagan and have an Appleton's and just count, yep. them, count your money. I, light, light it up. Say, hey, you know, it's not just a <laughs> cigarette with me. You know, I like no, my... no, exactly. Yeah. yeah. The good stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is there Primo? Cam, if got there's it. one you got it. shot <laughs> that you had to take, to get to the final four in this tournament, who would it be? One long shot? Yeah. Like, like, Levin, like, like a like really long shot? Double digit. Double yeah, digit. Double digit seed. Murray State. 31 team this year. Good pick. Yeah, seven seed. I think seed. Murray yeah, State. I told you, I like Boise State. I just, I hate their path. If they play, it played in a different yeah. path, I just think they're like the type of team that can really, like, they can play a boring game. They can beat, like, their defense is suffocating, and they're not afraid to go inside. But Murray State has athletes. They're kind of disrespected. It's kind of interesting. Like, I want to see what Michigan does. I, I really want to see what Michigan does against Colorado State in that first game. Yeah. Morency's a Michigan guy. I just... I'm yeah. not sure how the Mountain West, some of their teams are going to do in this tournament. Yeah, talk about like, a team up and down this year, right? Eh? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they, yeah. like they can play, like they're 125 to one to win. I'm not saying they're going to win, but would it surprise you if they won two or three no. games? No, no, not at all. Because they have beaten no. some of these teams. Like, that's the whole <laughs> thing about this tournament. It's nuts. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's so many upsets. I, I tell people all the time, like, you don't know who's going to win. I mean, the one, the one thing that we we're confident on here. I assume you both will be in agreement is there's no 16 seed beating a one seed here. Like it's just no. not going to happen. No, I don't no, see I, it I, at I, all. Yeah. Those are the days I remember back in the day when uh, 
Marcus Pfizer, God, I'm so old. <laughs> Marcus Pfizer and Iowa State lost to like Hampton. It was like a 15 and two. Yeah, I remember that was one of the craziest days. Like that stuff, that it's hard for it to happen now. Like you guys seen the spreads in some of these games for the 116s. They're anywhere between what, like 18 and 24 or 25. Like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's hard. No, it's hard. I, I'm not touching any of them games. Tell you the truth, I won't touch any of them first round 116s. Unless well, it's you, an end game, like you said. Yeah, and you can't even put them in money line parlays. You have to put no, like it's 13 pointless. games in there to make it, you know, respectable. That's exactly. that's the whole problem, right? But to barely double your money. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. The way I look at it is just in game. You do in games a lot of the time with these things too. You see, yeah. you get you get the eye test. You can see what teams are ready to go and pounce. I I I find I find in game betting like it's been unbelievable. Like the New York Knicks in the NBA. They're leading yes. all the time. They always gas out in the fourth <laughs> quarter. Like people were, yep. it was a license to print money for a while, right? Yep. It's just there are certain things that you know the trends of these teams. So this tournament's tougher though because not necessarily talent wins. It's a one and done. You're not playing your whole conference schedule, right? So, and I don't know certain teams' motivations. It's like and, when you're betting the NIT. Are you happy to be there? Are you pissed <laughs> off? Like people were saying, St. Bonaventure because they lost in a heartbreaking fashion to St. Louis wouldn't want to play, but they go into, uh, go into Colorado and beat the Buffaloes outright. Everyone's like, damn, they're not going to show up. Like you don't know the motivation of kids. Not Sometimes at all. It's just like, we just want to keep on playing. Like it's weird. You can't, I'm not a psychologist. I'm a gambler. So just That's right. you just play the do. percentages, you know. man. I play the yeah. odds. Yep. Yeah. Play the odds. If you, yep. for me, Dagan, I always say, look at a weird number. I'm either going to go fade the public or go or lay off the game. Exactly. Like if something's too to, too good to be true, it usually is too good to be true. Like, yeah, these casinos are in them. business for a long time because they know how to do it right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. No. Exactly. I mean, listen. There's so many games we could look at, but one game I want to ask you about, Cam, because I think it's a very tight matchup. I think it's going to be a real battle. Is Chicago Loyola versus oh, Ohio State? I like that game. I actually yeah. going to take. I know everyone like gets mad at sister Jean. Leave, leave sister Jean alone. She's an old lady who's a nun who just likes basketball. Like, don't get mad at her. I love her, man. I love no, that's the thing. Lady. Like, people are like, oh, I'm so hate sister Jean. What? She's a Catholic woman who, like, follows a basketball team. Lay off. She's an old woman who still has pep in her step. I like Illinois Chicago in that game. I think yeah, they're actually going to – I think Illinois Chicago can win, win two games. I'm not sure how deep they're going to go, like their Cinderella story, but I think they're going to be okay in that game. Here's the things that I got, guys. These are just the outrights that I that I took. So basically, I, I'll have some more. But Midwest, I took Iowa plus 420. In the East, I took Baylor plus 260. South Tennessee, 5 to 1. And West Texas Tech, 6 to 1. Outrights, uh, Baylor 12, Texas Tech 25 to 1. Tennessee 25 to 1. Iowa 25 to 1. Survivor Day 1, Kentucky survivor day two villanova those are the bets i put in and i've already bet nice. boise state plus three and i like akron plus uh if it's 13 and a half i usually buy it up to a nice round number at 14 those are bets uh, that i've made already you're I mean, loaded like up my... on those futures cam yes the, the portfolio you haven't even seen my like golf and hockey futures and basketball <laughs> futures. i think on my uh, account I like 79 pending bets well that's more than me i got 38 <laughs> <laughs> no, right that's the game me and Morenzi play how many bets do you have right now over yeah. under 54 Take i love my futures <laughs> man i love my futures and the cash out early option Oh, no, it's, sometimes it's good to cash out early. Like, you know, yeah. everyone's like, it's a weak game. Play sometimes. the percentages. Yes, yeah. exactly. If they offer you a good cash out. But yeah, I got to I gotta get rolling, fellas. I got I got more shows and I'm the update no guy too. Hey, everybody, I'm Cam Stewart. I got scores. So, hey, man, uh, Cam, this was a no blast, problem. man. Thanks I appreciate for... it so much. Yeah, no, we really no. appreciate you coming on and, you know, chopping it up with us, talking March Madness. So thanks again. We'll have you on soon. And uh Hey, listen, guys, those are the picks. A round of Cam golf Stewart. and a round of beers on us. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, Cam. I, on you, Dagan? That's on, so on, yeah. on me. <laughs> on me. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Uh, I, I, I got the drinks. A, Jordan's got oh. the golf. I, yeah. You know what? Like, I love golf and I love drinks. So yeah. Golf. We'll set <laughs> so, it up. We'll set it this up. Summer, have a good day, my man. Peace. This summer we're going to go. But yep. great to have you on. Follow Cam Stewart at Cam Stewart Live on Twitter. Guys tweeting like a machine. Uh, not as much as Morency, but I'm getting better. But you're, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're getting yeah. there. Yeah, he's like, are you ever going to tweet? Oh, yeah. Once in a while, throw one out. Hey, everybody. Like, a couple, like that guy gives, <laughs> you want to follow Gabe on Twitter? That guy, he'll give you pics till the cows come home. Throw out his that. Twitter <laughs> handle. Throw out his Twitter handle for us. 
what sports at sports rage. Like I, this guy, I'll tell you, like, he'll have more bets than like, I bet a lot, like me and him's current bets. Like it's t- more populated than some countries. Like it's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. The amount of bet- games we're going to bet on, but good luck guys. I hope we all make money. And this is the thing about this tournament. Nobody's an expert. We can have our opinions and whatever, but yeah. something stupid happens. Nobody had Oregon state the other year. It's just something wild is going to happen that nobody knows about. And that's what makes March madness fun. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Cam, for joining us. We had a blast. Follow him on Twitter at Camp Stewart Live. As I said before, uh, follow us at DJ Bed Z. We really appreciate everybody tuning in. Until next time, take care for myself, Jordan Allen, for Dagan Parker, special guest Camp Stewart. We're out. DJ Betts featuring Jordan Allen and Dagan Parker. Mm, DJ Betts.